All right, so you might remember a couple of weeks ago or so, we talked about the potential for a new Atari system coming in the year of our Lord 2023. No, not another version of the amazing Atari VCS. If you remember, if you've been around this channel for quite a while, I was very outspoken about that system. Atari did not like that. They called RGT fake news, to which I say, who had the last laugh? I don't know, maybe it was me, maybe it was you. At the end of the day, the Atari VCS obviously did not live up to a lot of the expectations set by Atari themselves and was just a minor blip on the radar. But this new system that we had heard rumors about seemed to be based more on a retro thing. And we learned about it today. We got a look at it today. We got a price point. And there's some very interesting things I want to talk about. There are some things that I actually kind of find unique. And then there's some things that I'm just kind of like, Okay, whatever. So let's take a look at this bad boy together. The Atari 2600 Plus, because if you know anything about Atari, the Jaguar doesn't exist. The Lynx doesn't exist. All these other systems don't exist. It's all about the 2600 because that's what people have nostalgia for. I guess we're going for like the nearing 50 market with this because I'm 38 and I have no nostalgia for the Atari. I, of course, grew up in the NES era. So you got to be a little bit on the older side, like getting towards that retirement age with this system. But I mean, who retires in 2023 in this sort of economy? So let's take a look at this system together. It is the Atari 2600 plus $129.99 American dollars. I believe it's $6 shipping as well. Should be coming out sometime in November. Taking a look at the system here, you could see it looks like a shrunk down Atari 2600 because, you know, that's what Atari relies on for the nostalgia. We have our different switches here for the game modes, almost like dip switches, honestly, when you think about it. We have some wood grain here. Is this wood grain real? Are we going to be wood grain gripping like Paul Wall is? Uh, it remains to be seen. We, of course, have our classic Atari style joystick with one button because, I mean, these games aren't really complex by any stretch of the imagination. So, you know, it looks like another one of those Atari plug and play systems. It doesn't look like anything unique. Obviously, this cartridge isn't a real cartridge. It's just stuck in there for the aesthetic. But wait a minute. Wait just a daggone minute. This is an actual cartridge that comes with the system. You can buy additional cartridges as well for this system. So it's, I'm guessing it's, it's, it could be emulation in the sense that it takes the cartridge, it dumps the ROM, kind of like a Retron 5. I don't know that it's actually been discussed or revealed fully if this is FPGA, if this is just literally an Atari 2600 built into it, which kind of wouldn't be true because as we get into the system more, you will see that it plays other games as well, but it takes actual cartridges in this system. I kind of like it. I don't hate it. I kind of like it. Now, you get into the whole problem where, you know, a lot of these games are going to be absolute misses for people because these games have aged like milk. If, if you don't have any, like an NES game, you could play an NES game in 2023 and still appreciate it. Most Atari 2600 games do not have that feeling. So you can see here, you know, the cartridge goes right in. We could get a look at the games on here. Pretty decent lineup. I'm not the biggest Atari person in the world, but I do recognize some of these titles. Adventure, Combat, Dodge em, Haunted House, Maze Craze, Missile Command, Real Sports Volleyball, Surround, Video Pinball, and Yard's Revenge. So out of these games, I'm familiar with Yard's Revenge, Haunted House, Adventure, and Combat. You know, they're solid enough games. Haunted House was really cool back in the day. It shows you the different dip switches that you need to hit on the back of the cartridge in order to make it be that game. So that's kind of unique, you know, I, I don't think a lot of kids will understand that. Looking at the system here, you can see that it has um, black and white or color options as well. There are two controller ports, HDMI, and that's pretty cool. So yeah, it's not a terrible looking system. And like the idea is interesting enough, I'm just not sure 
like if, if there's a big enough market for it so let's go ahead and scroll down here you could see that this has some basic information it actually plays 7800 games as well so you can also do hdmi and widescreen mode so you can use your 2600 and atari 7800 cartridges on here of course that means your 5200 cartridges are left out in the dust because atari really hates that system and I mean, they probably should. It is kind of a bit of a weird omission that you can't use a 5200 cartridge on here. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't really know the history of Atari like that. So if there's some big problem with 5200 games, but in my mind, it should just be, you know, on there. I do wonder if this is a light up. This is a light up button. We have some additional information here. The Atari 2600 is an updated version of the iconic 2600 and has been enhanced in the following ways. Plays 2600 and 7800 game cartridges. HDMI output makes it easy to connect. Widescreen mode and large cartridge slot reduces sticking. So you can just slide right in that slot. You don't have to worry about, you know, stretching out the slot or anything. You will slide right in there like a hot dog in a hallway. Oh, the Atari logo does light up while being played. Played. comes with a cx 40 plus joystick and has been lovingly recreated to the same specifications as the original and then they go on to talk about the different games that we've already seen so pre-orders um, are taking place now and will ship in november of 2023 the hardware you know um there is a compatibility list here with the atari 2600 plus it looks like most games are going to run on here there are some untested games failed games such as real sports boxing i know that's gonna be that's gonna be a, a beat them and eat them works so. <laughs> though i can't believe they put that on here is custer's revenge on here as well please please like custer's revenge be on this list please for the love of god oh no come on don't do that to me this is this is kind of organized in a, in a strange way but beat them and eat them works so that's a huge plus right there. They didn't, I don't think they listed Custer's Revenge. Super Cobra doesn't work. So, you know, the vast majority... Oh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre doesn't work. Play it on the Xbox. So what, what do I think about this? Like, it, it's interesting. It's unique. It's something that I, I feel like a lot of Nintendo fans would love to see Nintendo do something like this. Where you have a physical-based medium in order to play these cartridges. I feel like it loses a little bit of its luster because you can emulate 2600 and 7800 games on your fingernail and your fingernail doesn't even have like any circuitry in it or anything like that, but you could do it with this. So to me, it's unique, but it's a novelty. It's not gonna light the gaming world on fire. This isn't gonna bring Atari to prevalence or anything like that. Really, it, it, it's the same thing as these plug and play systems but you can use actual cartridges but everything costs more so you're not really going to get those impulse buys necessarily as well you're going to be relying on the you know people the atari age forums like that that's who you're marketing this towards is the atari age forums who lost money on the intellivision amico so now they want to latch onto something that's actually real but you know I, I i don't hate it i don't oh wait 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 look at this boys Custer's Revenge is playable. Now I'm sold. Now I'm sold. The most disgusting, heinous video game of all time is available on this system. Beat them and eat them. Custer's Revenge. Now, now it's on, boys. Now it's on. Now this is this is the system of the year. Hardware of the year. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think of the Atari 2600 Plus. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Hit the bell as well. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.